everybody after the Christmas now it merely Christmas already and then now with Happy New Year 2023 I just get the story for the real life from the poor Cambodian people and his name is Sharon Mon and he is 66 years old and he raising four kids so the two girls and two boys but now they're growing up and his wife died in 63 years old this year by diabetes because they have no medical care no medical attention you can see how their environment in his home with no water cleaning and nothing is there you see only the feel of the flood and flood all over the place and he will show you where is the flood mark for his home for the monsoon season and right now after his wife died he lived by himself but he make for a living only go pick up they call it the smell for the cow to eat I'm not sure but I wasn't there I just left in 1979 from my country it's so much suffering and sadness and back there so much nightmare by the war I'm not sure what it is but that what he said he said he make the living from searching the snail from the pond or the lake and one kilogram is 500 real and 4,000 real if the each chain to be a dollar, one dollar and less than a quarter is uh, one kilogram and his life is so hard you can see his house so it built along the dam and along the road but this, this is a flood area you can see this red mark here from his team wall um, it's not belong to him either this land but he asked for the the authorities who control that area to live in this area but it's just temporary but he don't know uh, where to go next because he didn't have the land the land there we call it the Khmer area it's so expensive it near Phnom Penh of the capital of Cambodia very expensive all poor people don't know where to go but they just uh, build their shelter you can see their shelter so poor and it means the house they call it the house it's so so poor and everywhere of the wall is open even the roof is leaking too and it's hard for their life but I'm not sure but I only get some information so uh, work for the charity work it travel across the country by Puwet and Putak so I got video from there and then some information and then I live in the US so it had the better life it changed my futures and changed for the the poverty of life it completely changed have how to stay the house of beautiful have car to drive have food to eat have clothes to wear <laughs> no more poor yeah I'm so poor back there so let's get back to his stories again so he got four kids to rest but right now he's 66 years old and his wife just passed away this year by disease that died a big and they're so poor they could not afford to take her to the hospital you know this disease no cure anyways and then he just lived the way it is by suffer by this disease you know like the lake hit her legs and so painful you know die little by little you know it's breaking my heart but I just do the best I can uh, to make this video to spread to all over the place the world 
and at YouTube and if you guys see this video if you would like to help and share this video to let the other people know if they have good heart or they have some generous gift give to them and I can take it there but only for the money a few dollars something you know I send it to these two guys and send to helping them um, of course their life have no futures it's so much despair it's no hope no medical care no medical uh, attention and no 401k benefit no retirement plan and no financial secure and no nothing it just start from zero you see uh, they have no clean water too they have to go back there to use that water the pond and on their backyard and then they make their living from uh, like raising some chicken or ducks and the other way for they can go out there and cutting the grass and work for uh, a few days they earned about you know like five dollars or three dollars a day that the top pay for the every employee that they employ over there. And I know it lies with the heart, the struggle and so much, you know, saying we need to take care and then we need to solve all kinds of this problem. But the homeless in the United States, it's the same thing, they don't want it to. But when they get into that strap of the poverty of life, of situation, it's hard to break it through, you know. But we out there in the blue sky, in you know, with the beautiful beach, and we have the clear thinking. We have got through all those things, and then we can see clearly how to help them a couple of dollars. But we got some donators from the U.S. and their name is Juan Loan and Sok Jun and then Huan Lim and Huan Liv but give to him for a little help twenty dollars and give to his daughter twenty dollars it's a little help but the twenty dollars it's a lot of money over there like you know like one dollar a chain for the Cambodian reel is four thousand reel 1,000 real a day or 2,000 reels a day and the kid go to school they spend like 2,000 reels a day with one dollar split to spend to two days can survive for two days it's a lot of money it it's not a, a whole lot for here people who have it but people don't have it just a lot of money it only helping from our heart do the best we can you know, I'm here to send some money to those group like Putak and Puwot too, uh, to helping all the poor. And I'm here kind of as his team too, but I was living in the United States. I remember from my past, it's so much poor and so much have nothing, no water, no clothes, no food, no shelter, no anything. It just no, it no, it no anything, just no. But I'm here, just more opportunity to put my energy to work. But I got here, uh, I spoke no English, but I learned little by little. But now I'm on the land of opportunity. You know, from the pool, like from the dock, you, you try to cross the ocean, but I'm on the side of the ocean. But now I'm safe. I have food, I have shelter, I have clothes, I have everything more than I need but time to helping them somehow. Just I save up some little money for my extra. Well, I'm not rich, but little extra to helping them because I cannot stand back there with the happy lights and fancy stuff over here that they don't use it and just watch them without having a heart to helping them. I don't feel right to do that. Uh, so many years I got to the United States, I had nightmare, you know, but uh, I got here 1988 until 2004, so I stand up 
and you know have no more nightmare I feel like I'm in the safe place the safe world the wonderful land of to build my future and the land as an opportunity now I look back there to help them back all right guys that's all it's about months of run life 64 years old raised for kid and about his poverty life at Cambodia and if you guys would like to help please share if you would like to support please subscribe my channel my works and then don't forget to click notification bell to get new video upload every day so uh, I have my videos upload at YouTube channel every day at 6 p.m. at Central Time thank you for your watching and support and then have a good time happy new year 2023 bye guys we'll see you guys on the next video thank you for your support and watching